What I can't figure out is where I put the bowl. For Montgomery County resident Kat Saffron. This feels like Twilight Zone at this point. Smoking marijuana with a group of strangers under the presence of law enforcement is admittedly a bit surreal. It's only a little bizarre, and now I get to laugh at it. Especially if you're hot. Especially if you're hot. While there was a lot of laughing on this night, this event is designed to save lives. Saffron and her fellow medical marijuana card holders are participating in a critical partnership with Montgomery County Police. Unless they are fully educated, they don't know what to do when they run into somebody who is high. Everyone here smokes for medical reasons. I have very high anxiety. It's made a night and day difference. At this event held at the training academy, participants smoke for 30 minutes, then give a saliva sample to a third party lab. After that, police conduct field sobriety tests. Okay, when do you normally take those throughout the day? By the time Saffron got through 30 minutes of inhaling, something she says she never does. Normally, I think I'd finish one of these in an evening. It was pretty clear she was impaired. I can't think of the word because I'm stoned. Um. <laughs> the goal here is to compare the saliva results with the impressions training officers observed while conducting the field sobriety tests, thereby allowing them to make more educated decisions on the job. There's a benefit for law enforcement to get to see real-time impairment. There's also a benefit to the cannabis community to get obviously exposure to law enforcement, but also take a step away from this and say, you know what, maybe I can operate a motor vehicle safely with the amount that I typically use.